Hello and welcome. I'm Chai Hoffelenia and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. President Rodrigo Duterte looks forward to his bilateral meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Laos. Yeah, wow. that I look forward to. Why, sir? Why sir? Why sir? They say you're very similar to each other. Foreign media have drawn parallels between Duterte and Putin. Both are seen as authoritarian leaders with an anti-American stance. American cable news CNN says Duterte, Putin, and U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump embody a, quote, blunt, fiercely macho leadership. This is the first time Duterte will attend the Association of Southeast Asian Nations or ASEAN Summit and meet world leaders. Philippine justices on Wednesday interpolate petitioners who want to stop the burial of former President Ferdinand Marcos at the Libingan ng Mga Bayani or Hero Cemetery. Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio says someone dishonorably discharged as Commander-in-Chief cannot be buried using public funds. A burial at the Libingan ng Mga Bayani, a national shrine, would entail the use of public funds and public property. Associate Justice Teresita De Castro asks petitioners Neri Colmenares and Barry Gutierrez to convince the justices only heroes must be buried at the Libingan when its basic purpose is to honor those who serve the country in war and in peacetime. Justice Alfredo Benjamin Kagiwa questions the National Historical Commission study which proves Marcus's military records were fraudulent. President Rodrigo Duterte earlier proposed to bury Marcos in the Hero Cemetery, sparking outrage from human rights victims during the Marcos administration. More than a week since the anti-graft court Sandigan Bayan ordered the suspension of Senator J.V. Ejercito, the Senate is still undecided on whether or not to implement it. The Sandigan Bayan earlier ordered the 90-day suspension of Ejercito and three San Juan City officials over graft charges from alleged misuse of city funds in 2008. Senate President Coco Pimentel says he referred the court order to the Committee on Rules to determine whether or not the chamber is authorized to suspend a member. Senate Majority Leader Tito Soto says the panel may or may not follow the court order. Senate rules state no clear policy on suspending senators. The Philippines Health Department, or DOH, advises pregnant women to avoid traveling to Singapore and other neighboring countries. In an advisory issued Wednesday, the DOH also urges travelers to take extra precautions when staying in countries with ongoing local transmission of Zika. Zika, which resembles a light case of the flu, is transmitted through some mosquitoes. The disease causes birth defects, like microcephaly and other brain deformities, in newborns. Singapore reported a surge in Zika cases, a total of 82 as of August 30. The DOH also urges the public to practice safe sex by wearing condoms since the Zika virus can also spread to sexual contact. SpaceX and satellite operator SES agreed to launch a commercial satellite end of 2016 by reusing a Falcon 9 rocket. This comes after SpaceX officials said reusing rockets could cut launch costs by 30%. SpaceX founder Elon Musk earlier said it costs around $300,000 to fuel a rocket but $60 million to build one. Musk wants to revolutionize the launch industry by making rocket components reusable like commercial airplanes. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hafelenya. Remember, tomorrow begins today.